welcome to the Crafty Diamond. I am Debbie. I have my first finish for April today, and this is also my seventh finish for the year. So I think that I'm on track um, to complete at least 23 for this year. Just depends on how large the canvases are. Now this one is a 40 by 40. It is my first completion from Calming Canvas Designs. I do have a few more of theirs in my stash. These are some of the best square drills that I have ever worked with. They fit like a glove. This is absolutely gorgeous. There's not any A beads or any special drills in here. And look how shiny that this is. It is stained glass collie. And the artist is Nadia Theron Art. And I just absolutely love this one. It was so much fun to do. It did have a combination of confetti and color blocking. There's 64 colors in this canvas. And that's a lot of colors, I think, for this size of um, a canvas. But it turned out so cute. I have a border collie, and so I've got this one um, that I did um, for her. I am going to put it up in my craft room. I have another one that's of a collie, which is basically a rough collie, and that one is in memory of my prior collie that I had. And then if I can get one of a poodle, then um, I will do one in honor of my, my fur baby Zoe that recently passed. Um, she was a she-poo. So, um, but she was part, part poodle, um, and part shih tzu. So I may do one for her, but that will be later down the road. But for this one, I just cannot say enough good things about it. I had plenty of drills left over. The drills were really good quality. I had very little trash and I just think this one is absolutely adorable. I don't know if this one is still up on the Calming Canvas website or not. Um, Joy, the owner, was doing some uh, stained glass of some um, animals, and so I'd asked her if she could do a collie, and so she did. And I'm not sure if it's up there. I will look and see. I know she has other stained glass, but I just love the stained glass look. I just love how shiny and shimmery um, that this is. The border was all um, around the border was three tens, and they were really good quality too. And I've had a lot of issues with three tens in other kits um, lately. Just the quality's been not the greatest on three tens, but on these, um, the quality was really good. Um, I do like how the edges here they are scalloped and stitched. There's also a border going around it, so it also looks um, a little more professional. Um, that way, but um, I just love this one. I mean, look at the eyes. I'm going to try to paint you in here just to bring you in. Look how beautiful those eyes are. And some of these um, may not be as straight as they could be. That is not the canvas. That is me. Um, I did use a multi-placer on this, but the face is just stunning. And let me show you, I did put this in my logbook. I'm trying my best to be better this year. Um, I will say that when I was kidding it up, this was some of the worst static that I've encountered in a very long time. But once I kitted it up, I put my dryer sheets in each of my containers, then it was fine. I didn't have any more problems as I was diamond painting with the static. So that's the only issue that I did have. That's nothing to do with the company. Every kit that I have done pretty much lately has had a lot of static. So I'm gonna pan out just a little bit. And here's what I had left on the drills. I'm just gonna move this out of the way and show you the drills. So I did, as I said, have plenty. I have a lot of drills left over. I mean, I've got half a container on a lot of these. I am going to kit down um, with you guys. And three tins, I have all of these left. I have a full container of three tins. 
And even on 38.65, I have quite a bit left there. I did not have any of the symbols that gave me any problems. Um, they were all very easy to read. Um, there wasn't anything that I had a question on. Is it this or possibly this? And that made me really happy because some of the ones that I've done on other kits lately, it's like, okay, I can't tell the difference in a couple of these, but these were very straightforward. So I do like to save my drills. And so I am going to get everything arranged and then I will be right. Okay, I think I have everything that I need. I do not have these in DMC order. So I'll be flipping around here. And every time that I get this box out, I say that I am going to put this in a different box, rearrange it. I don't like how it looks, but right now it is fine because I have other things that I really need to do first. I think it looks okay. It doesn't have to look just beautiful. All right, I have a full bag, almost a full bag. Let's see if I can get these in this bag. And then after that, I will not need these. I only keep a bag of spare drills. Oh, I've got plenty I can put in there. Now I am going to start looking at my spare drills because I did order a heaven and earth design and it's a dragon but it's rather large and with heaven and earth designs you do not receive drills you only receive the canvas so I need to start looking and seeing what I need for that and I did not put washi on these so I don't know of how well these are going to come off on the stickers 3607 and if they don't then I will just I will have to get some goo gone and then just see how I'm going to get this off of here I do like to make sure that these are a match. I thought about at one time doing these separate by company, but I work on so many different companies, or I try to, and I just do not really want to keep so many spare drills. These seem to be coming off okay. I am probably going to have to get some goo gone when I'm done with this, and that's fine. And 3609. Some of these may be in order, but probably not very much. And for those of you that are new, welcome. Glad that you are here. And for those of you that are not new, welcome back. I may just try to get these off afterwards. You don't need to see me sit here and fight the stickers. That one came right off. Um, for those of you that are new, you are not by any means, it's, this is not any kind of a requirement where you have to keep your drills. I like to, because you never know when you're going to run out. And if I am working on a canvas, I don't wanna to have to stop and contact the business or have to order some drills because I'm missing some. So I like to have drills in my stash that I can go back to. And then also I like to do cross stitch conversions and I like to be able to use some of my spares if at all possible. 
it will save a little bit on buying all the new drills. There's a lot of black that I got mixed in here. I don't know how that happened. But for the most part on this box, I just use this just in case I'm in need of a different color that I want to replace or if I if I do run out, if I'm going to do this for a cross-stitch conversion, I do have a box where I have Evermoment drills that, or I think they're from Evermoment, made from Evermoment, and on those particular kits, And I think these are the Evermoment ones too. Oh well, that's okay. I know they are. I should have put these in the other box. That's all right. I'll just go ahead and do it. put them in here for now. I have a lot of these left over though. I hate not to put these in the right ones. That's fine. It is going to be a while before I work on another cross stitch conversion. And probably even longer before I work on a heaven and earth canvas where I need specific colors. I have so many other ones that I need to work on. And it is kind of nice whenever you, you decide you want to work on a canvas that you have to purchase the drills. In a way, for me, it's kind of nice just to be able to get the drills because they're all coming from the same company. They're all the same lot or batch for the most part. And so they're gonna fit better. 9.22, but oh, that one's full. Okay, I don't need this one. Let's see. I'm going to put this in here. I did not bring my other little bucket. I'm just going to take those out. I will get the get all of the stickers off last. I guess these are in order. Seven ninety four. This kit did not take me very long to complete either. All right, here's seven ninety four. But I was working on this one, and also working on a couple of others, so I did not spend my full time on this one. Seven ninety nine. But I think it still would have taken a little bit longer because of all the different colors. $7.99. And you know, there may come a day that I don't save my drills. But for now, I'm going to. That is what it says, $7.99. And this is going to be. 819. I will put the information if you're interested below on what I use for um, my box here. I did order the, the divider cards. I did order those through a company on Etsy. I could have made them, but it was just a lot faster. Okay, 823, I don't need. It was a lot faster to do that for them than for me to do it. 970. Although I do have a cutting machine, I could have done that. But I thought it was just as easy. And they were selling just the cards. And the last time that I looked on there, I think they weren't selling just the cards. You had to buy think a kit for not a kit but 
good if I the cards, other dividers from them. But I will link it so you can see. I don't like how these are looking at all. I don't like how they're popping up like this. Where is 977? Oh. All right, 976. My arm is in the way. I do apologize. 977. Okay, here we go. I am really excited to have a finish for April. I'm not sure if I'll have another finish or not since we are getting towards the end of the month. 96. But it could be a possibility. I'm getting close on two of my canvases to finish in April. If I do not finish in April, then definitely both of those will be finished early part of May. Let's see. 3033. A lot of these I don't have, which is nice. All right, these are about the same color. I would love to finish my Josephine wall by the end of April. I still have quite a bit to, to go on it. So I'm not 100% sure that that's gonna get finished. By the end of the month, 7.22. And then I'm working on an Oraloa called Maggie. That one I'm getting closer, but I only work on that one in the evenings. And we've been sitting outside a lot, so I can work on it for a couple of hours after dinner, and then it gets too dark, and then we go to bed. So I don't, I'm not spending as much time on that one. I might try to work on it a little bit more this weekend. 7.41. I need to get back to some of my whips or my work in progress from last year that I need to work on. 742. And that would give me some more finishes because a lot of those are halfway done. All right. you guys have any plans for the weekend when this comes out it's either gonna be on Saturday or Sunday more than likely gonna try to get it out on Saturday but we will see 939 all of these are getting full I'm going to have to move some of these over before too long I'm gonna be in a second box which is okay Right, that one's almost full, but I can get some more in there. I guess I could have put my Ever Moments in here too. I may end up doing that and go to a second box and not have two boxes. 9.59. And I know when I go to kit down my Diamond Painting Deutschland, that one will have to go in all separate um, bags because the colors are different. I noticed that at least on my last painting that I did, and it was a round on theirs. 
And that one, none of the colors match. None of the DMC numbers. They were the same DMC numbers, but the colors were not even close. So I will keep those in separate bags. And those are very nice drills too. 967. Okay, 966. I don't know why these are popped up like this. I think because I have some bags that have, oops, a lot in there and some don't. I don't think I'm going to do a month in review. I did not do one last month. Um, I did go over on my whip and chat that was closest to the end of the month of my goals, what I met, what I didn't, my plans. I might do like a mini chat instead because I just don't have enough really for a month end review. I'm gonna have this one completion and I have some whips. I don't wanna get all of my whips out. And I really only focus on one or two in the month anyway. So I don't know if that's something that would be beneficial or not. Okay. Some of these I do have like lone color drills in here. And whenever I need to get any drills out, I'll just... That's when we'll go through and kind of clean them up. I'm not going to go through each one of these and clean it up as I'm going. Next one is 775. These are in order for the most part. Um, do I have on my container? 775. Storm rather quickly. Sometimes if a kit does not include any special drills, then I will add special drills, but I didn't on this one. I didn't think it really needed it. Right now, I'm back over here to 3740. 3740. Oh, we'll get started with the bag. I've not had this color before. Probably the same thing on 3750 also. 37, yep, 3750 is a new one. And I've had some of you ask me what the dividers are that divides the rows on here. And these are just dividers for like utility drawers, um, such as you know, your silverware drawer. And I got those from Amazon. Let's see, 3756. I can put just a little more in here and then this bag is gonna be completely full. There's 3756. Um, the next one is 3041. Back over here. 3041. It's here. Yeah, I definitely need to move these over. That's why they're popped up because they are full in the rows. I'll do that. Off camera whenever I'm done with this, 33.25. And then definitely get all of my, my containers cleaned up. But these are coming out just fine on the 
on my stickers. 3348. Just have to rub them off a little bit harder, and that's fine. All right, 3348. That's close. Not very many of those either. Okay. And now I'm at 38.46. This is where I need to work on. So this, what is this? 38.13, that's upside down. All right, I'm gonna move this over just a little bit so I can get to it. 38.46, I will definitely move these. 38.46, how much in, that's 38.45. Glad that I have stickers on each of these. 3846, there's just a little bit. All right, here's 3846. I had a lot to do this weekend. I need to do around the house. I've got some yard work my husband and I are going to do, but it's supposed to be nasty all day on Sunday. So the only day that we really have will be Saturday. And that's when I like to clean my house. But then on Sunday, if it is going to be as nasty as they're saying, I am just going to be my craft room pretty much all day on Sunday. All right, a few more left. I'm at 37.05 now. Back over to this side. So I am kind of all over the place. All right, 37.05. A few of these. And then some of these. There's a little bit of static in that one. I got it all out, I think. Um, 3726. I will be glad when I complete some of my other ones that are in my Elizabeth Ward containers and also in my Art Dot bottles. I really do like these, but I don't use these for really large kits unless it's max color. There's a lot of colors in the kit, in the kits I will. 37, 27, because I'd like them. If I'm gonna do that, I do like them in symbol order. Okay, so there's that. On the last row of this first, first container, back over here to 316. 316. It's going to be here. All right, 316. A lot of the lower DMC numbers I have quite a few of, so I may not be keeping all of these. 317 is completely full. I'm not going to keep those in here. 318. There's not really any in 318. That's a much darker color. I think another bag for that one. I am going to get a second bag. I don't ha usually have two bags unless the colors are very different, and these are. So I'm going to. And that is very different. A light and a dark. All right, 318. Takes care of that one. The next one is 413. 414. 413 is completely full. So I'm not going to keep that one. Back over to 301. All right, 301. Okay, so we finished this one. 
I just need to take these stickers off and I will do that. Now I've got just a few of these left, not much. And we're starting with 3779. 3778. 3779 is right here. And I know it's got way back underneath there, but it did. So I can now start a bag on this color I didn't have, so that's good. And I had a lot left on this one. I am not starting a new kit, even though I finished this one because I have plenty that I'm working on. I do not want to start a new one. 3801. My goal is to get some of the ones that are already kitted up done. And also to work on some of the new companies that I have so I can let you guys know my feelings, reactions. Let's see, this is 3802 of the kits. 3801. And with this being a square, I am not starting on a square, on a new square until I finish my Diamond Painting Deutschland. And then once I get that one finished, I'm going to look and see, and my whips pull out a square that I wanted to work on from last year. So I've started but hadn't finished. And I'm not sure which one yet, 3766. I still have my one with the diamond art, that square, that's Josephine Wall. I do need to work on that one. So that may, this one's full. That may be what I work on for the square. But that one I have found, unfortunately, it's a black and white canvas where the drills are all in black and white. And the some of the symbols are not really clear on what they are just because of the way the symbols are, are made and what they are. And I cannot work on that one for very long because it begins to give me a massive headache. So I am not sure about that kit yet, to be honest. I'm gonna try working on it some more. I do not need three tens. If it continues to give me a problem, I may just have to give it away or sell it, even though I've done a small square probably just give it away. I just, it's not worth me straining my eyes. 315's full. Not worth me straining my eyes in order to get it finished. And I kind of hate it because it is a, it's a good quality. It's just the black and white is just a little much for me. 3811. I'm having to reach over. I'm trying to keep my head out of the way. All right, 3811. Got here. 3823. And if you have not checked out Palming Canvas um, and you want to look at a new company, I highly encourage you to do so um, because I really like the quality of the drills, the canvas. Canvases are very good quality. And I am really looking forward to working on others. I am also an affiliate with Calming Canvas. And I would tell you my true thoughts no matter what. But if you would like to use my code, if you're interested in purchasing something from Calming Canvas, I will put my code underneath the description. And that will save you 10%. 
And it's not expected. It's you know, always appreciated, but it is never expected for anybody to do anything. I just like to save you guys some money, and it also helps out if I do earn a little commission. I put it right back towards the channel. I don't use it for anything else. I sure can't live on it. I, can't, I cannot live on what I make on YouTube because it's not that much, but I'm not doing it for the money. I just do it because I think it's so much fun and I have met so many people and I wasn't sure how I was going to like, honestly, doing a lot of videos and being on YouTube, but it has been so much fun and such a blessing that I definitely want to continue. And I just do this in my spare time. All right, 38.65. Maybe one day I will have a large channel and when I decide to retire from education and then I can just do it as a side job, that would be a lot of fun. Right. Here we go at 38.65. I'm just moving these up. I definitely have to work on this box. All right, 38.65. I have four more. Oh, five more. So this went really fast. I still have a dryer sheet in here. I'm going to take that out because I might like, can use it again. All right, I have four more. Four, four, ten. Four, 14 is full, so I can put that in with my other ones. Let's check out 415. 415 is not. Let's see if this color matches. And half of it does, it matches. 415. Now we've got 500. All right, we've got 500. How is this one? This cannot be 500. That is, but that's not even close. Oh, that's 550. No wonder. Um, all right, 550. So that is not even close to the color. All right, here we go. That's more like it. All right, 550. And then I have 564, and that's my last one. And no drills were spilled. I shouldn't say that yet. Not done. All right, 564. Five sixty four. That gets to start a bag. That's nice. I definitely have to straighten this up. This looks so bad. I don't like all these bags hanging out of here, and they shouldn't because. I checked the dimensions on all of these and they should be fine. I've got these few little ones that are on my table. So that is all of my drills. They're now back into my storage and then I will work on this off camera so it will be nice and pretty. And then also I will need to take all of my stickers off but I just love this canvas and cannot wait to hang it up in my craft room. That's all I have for you today. And if you haven't done so, um, please consider subscribing to my channel. I think that you would like it here. Also click on that like button and notification so you are notified for any future uploads. And as always, thanks for watching and happy diamond painting. Bye.